Welcome guests, how are you? Admire your host once again at Admire the Art of Business. Today we are at Zima Award in the second gala. We started this last year and this year the second and it's amazing. You, you're gonna love it. But you know what? Today we've got an amazing guest. Amazing guest, Mark. You know, I don't want to talk too much about you. I want you to self-introduce yourself, right? Well, thank you, Admire. Thanks, it's, buddy. It's a real, real honour to be invited on behalf of the New South Wales Government, uh, representing the Minister, Stephen Camper. I'm the Parliamentary Secretary for Multiculturalism, and I'm also representing the Premier, Chris Minns. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very, very much appreciated that we get invited to these things because we want to show our support as a government to our multicultural communities and particularly such a vibrant community as the Zimbabwean community and the good work that Zim is doing. We want to recognise that. Wow, beautiful. Do you want to tell me in terms of your background, how, how diverse are you in terms of personal background? Well, my parents um, are Maltese, actually. Oh. They came to Australia in the 50s, okay. separately. My father came when he was 17. My mother came when she was nine. And then they, they, they came from Malta. They met at a town hall dance in Paddington. They got married and they had my sister and me. Oh and my God. So here I am. So I'm, I'm familiar with different um, cultures yeah, yeah. and different, different people coming to Australia and the effect, the positive effect that I think it's had on Australia in terms of diversity, open-mindedness and our attitudes to other cultures makes us stronger. So I have a pretty good appreciation. And of course, language is important too. Connection with the language and culture, yes. It is. So I've got to put you on the spot right now. Do you think it's about when communities are contributing to the greater large of the community in Australia? Absolutely. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. I mean, the vibrancy, the dance, the culture. Uh, I know that Zima has made a huge contribution in terms of its original conception was to provide bereavement support, particularly for funerals, and then it grew out of that in terms of having a meeting about how they can further the cause of supporting Zimbabwean people across a whole range of issues mm -hmm. in those communities. So I think that makes a huge contribution to the Australian community. And the more cultures we have coming, the more we have Australia growing as an organic whole and developing into a better, a better country. Absolutely. Because the more perspectives we have from different countries yeah, yeah. and the more we embrace it, the stronger we become as a country. Yeah, yeah. And this is really the evolution of the human race, I think, is all getting together and understanding each other yeah. and living in peace and harmony because we understand each other. Uh, you're right on that. Yeah. And because, Mark, you know what, you go around different cultures, you know, different communities as well. Yeah. Is there any tips that you want to give us as Zimbabweans in here? So you know what, guys, you've done this and this, but there's also more things that you guys can, you know, venture into. Is there anything else just on top of your head? What I would say is, is that it's important to, like anything, it's important to connect with your community and let them know what you're doing and the fact that you're then engaging with government for help, but also promoting the community uh, in the broader sense, whether it's social media or traditional media or going out and doing the functions like you're doing tonight. Yeah. I think you're doing a great job and uh, I'm very pleased to attend as a representative of the New South Wales government at your second gala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really important. Um, you should also be aware that the New South Wales government has a number of um, grants. Yep. There's a particular uh, grant scheme called the Stronger Communities fund yep. and you can apply for community grants through that as well and there's also the school of languages too which the new south wales government can help with so those, those sorts of things you should talk to us about because we can help you with that oh mark what else can i ask about you man thank you very much appreciate that so much lovely and to meet you and, and thank you for the opportunity to come out here and uh, and be with you and celebrate the culture and thank you for your time Thanks. yes thank you very much this is mark and we appreciate it so much thank you